the center of researching this. Mike Adams joins us to give us breaking news and the latest developments, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mike Adams, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Alex. Great to be on your show. I uh, love your show here, by the way. Great interview with Gerald you just had. Um, so the situation, that we do have some additional breaking news, but I, I want to give a, a summary for those who may be new to this just very quickly. The, the feds combined with state sheriffs and LAPD to conduct a multi-agency raid on this buyer's club, a private buying club that was selling raw milk and raw cheese, raw dairy products. This raid resulted in law enforcement pouring thousands of dollars worth of raw milk down the drain, confiscating and basically pillaging this entire store, taking their entire inventory, including watermelons, including mangoes, including honey, and the raw milk and cheese that we mentioned, and leaving this story, store with, or I'm sorry, buyer's club, private club, with nothing to sell. And then they charged the owner and two other individuals with conspiracy to commit felony crimes. So the owner, James Stewart, had been brought up on, on 13 charges now, including several felonies, and his bail was set at $123,000. That was yesterday. This morning, there was a big protest at the steps of the county courthouse in L.A., and I, I believe because of this public pressure, the bail was dropped from $123,000 down to $30,000 today. We've also been told that Victoria Block, who is the L.A. County uh, liaison for the Weston A. Price Foundation, you know the foundation, they're, they're very much into nutrition and teaching people not to eat processed foods. They're evil they, folks. They don't yeah. want us eating MSG and GMO and mercury-filled stuff. They're very evil. Exactly. But Victoria has now been set free. But it looks like James Stewart and Sharon Palmer, who have been brought up on conspiracy charges, and also the charge of mislabeling cheese. This is one of the more serious charges apparently i don't mean to make this a laughing matter because no it is ridiculous it I is, mean, yeah. only in america you can't have a garden in your yard and there's not even a law they try to put you in jail for 93 days this is outrageous nazi soviet style tyranny but in a sense alex that's what's so great about this because it is waking people up to the reality that these environmental police and by the way, this case is going to be prosecuted by the FDA's environmental prosecutor. That's the word that we're getting right now. So they have a special inquisitor. Exactly, exactly. And this, this gets into the green police and the cops running around with handcuffs if you burn too much fuel. No, they're, acting like, cup. they're acting like a papaya that's organic is cocaine. Well, well, they are. And remember that there are children and infants who depend on this goat's milk for their own nutrition. I mean, there are families, women who can't breastfeed their babies that have been buying this raw goat's milk to keep their babies healthy. And now, today, they don't have that food. We have old letters of my father's grandfather, who was a doctor in East Texas. And when a woman wasn't lactating enough, as happens quite a lot, to feed the baby, they would recommend first the milk of a goat or of a female donkey, a Jenny. Jenny. Now, again, my great-grandfather was al-Qaeda. I mean, he, should he be arrested? <laughs> yeah. Well, if he were doing that today, he might very well be arrested. Uh, and remember, for a long time, Alex, people on the left would, would see your show or read my website, and they would say, this can't be true. The green police aren't bad. They're protecting the environment. This can't be true. Well, now today, thanks to this multi-agency raid, they're seeing the truth. So now, in a sense, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department raid with the FDA and with the CDC is lending credibility to what you've been warning about. And that's the other years. good news. That's the other good news. There were major Hollywood stars just from the radio show and naturalnews.com and infowars.com that within an hour showed up and were confronting the police and saying, shame on you. And i got to tell you, the video of the cops that you've posted, I mean, they look like something out of central casting of, of uh, Goodfellas. Talk about that, and let's talk about them having to reduce the bond and where this is going. Well, it's like when you talk about police recruiting and how they won't recruit anyone with an IQ above 80, that's because they don't want people to question common sense. So if they're pouring nutrition down the drain, even though there are starving children next door, these cops with the low IQs, they won't even question that. Oh, we're ruining food or we're burning books or whatever they happen to be doing. Yeah, the it's image okay. of a truck and watermelons being thrown away and milk being dumped in a gutter. I mean, this, this, is, this is so absurdist, it's like a Monty Python skit. 
it, it, it's George Orwell in 2011. It, it's, it's Big Brother, but now they're going after your food and, and not just your books and not just watching you at every corner. Uh, it's, it's out of control. I call it government-sponsored terrorism against innocent small business owners and farmers. And I think that's an accurate assessment of what it is. Oh, we've tried to go for years, and some of the guys in the control room as well told me about it. I'd go to the farmer's market. And they would say, well, I can't sell it officially, but come over to my truck. You probably want to buy this. And I'd get a gallon of milk, and the stuff tasted sweet, delicious. My kids could tell, just like real cheese tastes great. And they had cops there harassing them. They had to stop. No law, but secret police creeping around. But I can take you to East 11th, literally five miles from here. They leave crack dealers alone. Of course. But, but yeah. I can't buy raw milk now in Austin. And there's a reason for that. You, you wonder why the CDC was present at this raid? See, the CDC knows that it has to exist based on the hype of infectious disease. Now, if you drink raw milk, because it has probiotics in it, you insulate your body from foodborne illness. And, and probiotics you're not going to get in a store. Exactly. Start over. I'm sorry. We're, we're talking about living microbes in the milk, which are supposed to be there, that the baby calves drink. It's in, it's in mother's milk in humans as well. The probiotics are there to make the baby healthy. If you drink more raw milk, and by the way, I'm not a big milk drinker. I don't eat, I don't do dairy myself, but I support raw milk because of this principle. But it will make you healthier and more immune to infectious disease. But in the old days, doctors would tell you when you're sick, drink raw milk. I mean, it's, it's not rocket yeah. science. Well, exactly. I mean, it's like this country was founded on raw milk and growing industrial hemp. You know, it was founded on the idea that we should have liberty and freedom and in individual choice about our foods and our medicine and what we wish to do with our private lives. But today, Region after region, the government just keeps taking over our lives. Our money supply from 1913 on, of course, our, our, our medicine with Obamacare, and now our food supply with the food safety bill that was just passed into law last December. We are now seeing the, the, the long arm of that food safety bill kick in, and it's, it's actually it's a barrel of a gun pointed at your head that says, don't drink what you want. But Mike, devil's advocate, why don't you just give yourself to the new world order and admit that you're a freak and that everybody else is a freak who says that a lady should be able to grow tomatoes in a flower box in her front porch in, in Oak Park, Michigan. I mean, you're actually <laughs> telling me in Land of the Free, Home of the Brave, that prisoners, I I'm sorry, banker minions, I mean citizens, should be able to grow tomatoes or eat real cheese. I mean, this is this is freaky. I mean, folks are waking up to our irradiated food and everything else now, and they're wanting to go back to what humans had for hundreds of thousands of years. And you're and you're here defending people eating watermelons. Well, it looks, do you, you, you want to apologize right now? I, I'm not willing to do that, but I, I will say that for the first 30 years of my life. I, I was a, going along with the mainstream system. Good. I was taking the pharmaceuticals reasonable. And, and the junk foods. But once you wake up, Alex, and this is the beauty of what you do and, and what we do at Natural News and the, the readers that tune in to, and the listeners, once you wake up, once you take the red pill, there's no going back. You can't take these facts out of your brain. You can't dumb yourself back down after you've awakened to the reality of what's really going on. And so that's what you're doing out there with your show, Alex, is you're, you're lighting people's brains up so that they now have an awareness and begin to question. And the raw food actually is so good for you that it makes your mind work even better. And healthy food is superfoods so that you can begin to question even more. You never go back after Well, Mike, that. I have a CBS News clip where they say mercury is good for kids' brains. I, I saw that clip. And, 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 and so we've got to decide, is mercury good or are with you joining the extremist, either mercury is good for you or we're joining the extremist, Mike Adams. And, of course, they admit mercury is deadly, but, but we've gotten to this insane juncture here where we decide to fully submit to this technocratic tyranny or whether we stand up. Now, now in closing, any other points you haven't added about this uh, SWAT team, multi-jurisdictional federal raid on a public store where they have guns out so they can show the jury and say, see, we had guns out. They're bad. You know, I mean, it's all part of uh, theater. Uh, any other points you want to add yes. about that? And, and then in closing, the big assaults right now we have where they're trying to totally legalize all new GMO coming out while restricting the tools to fight it, normal, clean, good food, also known as al-Qaeda. 
Remember, this is being prosecuted under environmental prosecution from the FDA. Now, the greatest environmental crime of our century, Alex, is GMOs. Why is that crime not being prosecuted or even investigated or even properly regulated? But it only sterilizes people and causes cancer. But it, it is the biggest environmental crime of, of, of human civilization, not even the century. I'm talking about from the dawn of, of humans walking on this planet. GMOs are the biggest environmental crime of all. Now, the other point is that this attack on raw some foods is not just an assault on raw milk and raw cheese. It's also an attack on your right to enter a private contract with an organization that represents cows and chickens and eggs and, and farmers. Well, they have that in Austin. You go buy part of a cow or a whole cow, and then you go there and, and get the milk. I mean, that's, that's not America. No, but I mean, listen, you're is... not, listen, listen, I know you want to claim that cows used to eat grass. Everybody knows they're fed ground up, you know, rotten meat. I mean, look, you, you, you push your extremism long enough. Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw cows eating grass on my way Lies, over to your studio Al-Qaeda, here today. Conspiracy. And you've got cows uh, a couple miles down the road that are still eating grass. And uh, I raise chickens, and they're free range, and they do you produce eggs. You raise chickens? I, I have to admit, I Call raise chickens. Call the FDA, chickens. folks. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, literally, if I come in here and, let's say, barter with you, I'll give you some of my eggs, and you give me some superfoods then we could both be arrested for, as, and charged with conspiracy under the current laws. As we should. Apparently. So wh- where else is, I mean, I, I'm being sarcastic, illustrating absurdity by being absurd, but what I've gotten from you here today, Mike, is that this is awakening the sleeping giant. Very much so. The other important takeaway message from this is that people out there, Pay attention, because this could come to a farm near you. This could come to your farmer's market, your co-op, your CSA. It is coming. It, it, it is. It's, I, mean, remember, I can't it, buy milk. I could buy I it for three years. I can't get it down here. It's, they won't stop the happening. crack dealers selling CIA cocaine down the street. they got to harass them on. They're selling some devil milk. This is happening right now. If we don't take a stand and stop this immediately and take back the power to enter, the, the right to enter into a private contract, the right to choose what we eat, we're going to lose these freedoms forever. And we will not get them back unless there's a complete collapse and a new society of some kind. Well, Mike, you should support freedom from freedom. And that's what <laughs> Homeland Security is trying to bring us. Mike Adams will continue to watch this as it develops and other important stories at the invaluablenaturalnews.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Alex. Always good to join you. All right, my friends. Well, that's it for this special edition of InfoWars Special Report. Again, coming up September 1st, in less than a month, we have the nightly show at 7 p.m. Central at InfoWars.com. The only example I've seen of something like this, well, there's two examples. Uh, After Lenin died, Stalin wanted to take control of the satellites of the Soviet Union. So he said, you can't have your own farm or garden. You've got to only work in the co-ops. And as we know, tens of millions of Ukrainians and others then died. And they would take you to a camp. They would arrest you uh, if you grew grew your own food. And, uh, of course, Mao did something uh, similar in his Cultural Revolution, Great Leap Forward. And the Chinese estimate 85 million died. Uh, The U.S. government estimates 66 million 66 million, 85 million, whatever. This is a really bad idea. But as the U.N. said in their 1996 World Food Forum, they will use food as a weapon. As Henry Kissinger said in State Department Memorandum 200, they would shut down local domestic production of food. And the, the, the uh, different uh, departments, the Department of Agriculture, has told my own family and farmers and ranchers all over America, sell out to the big guys or get out of business. And that's what this is all about. Please spread this report to everyone you know. Download it from PrisonPlanet.tv and forward it to your friends and family. You see it on YouTube. Get it out to everybody because the light of day, the light of truth will expose these folks. Again, I'm Alex Jones reporting for InfoWars.com and this special report. Great job with the crew. And we'll see you back live on the radio, 11 a.m. Central weekdays and Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. Now get out there and take on the tyrants. Thank you for watching.